I'm remaking this video. Many people have asked me to uh, redo this video. Let me go over it quickly, what it was. I've got a motor that's driven by this battery, simple battery circuit, uh, and it's driving this, which is another motor, but it will act as a generator when it's spun the other direction. The argument is that when I connect these two together, you'll see that this spins up many times faster, about three times faster, roughly. And the argument is that if this was done properly, if, if this will spin three times faster, then at some point I should be able to disconnect the battery and this should continue, this generator should continue to supply power for the motor. Okay, so what people have asked me to do, they've asked me to add things like a capacitor to the circuit and a diode to the circuit and today that's what I'm here to do. So I'll do those in different parts. I'm not going to try to do that in one take because I have to, between the things, I have to redo the wiring and all. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the first version of it. This is the capacitor in line with the, with the uh, motor and the uh, generator and we'll see what happens. And I don't know if you can see it, but just for a second it sped up. My guess it uh, filled the capacitor and allowed a current to flow through here for just a second. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no substantial difference adding a capacitor this way. Now let's uh, try adding a capacitor across this back end and see what happens. And the next test. Uh, now I've got the capacitor so I can wire it to the generator and store some energy. We'll hook that up. And as you can see, nothing really changes here. Uh, when I hook up the uh, black wire, the negative wire, it will speed up. Uh, so now the capacitor is storing some energy generated from here. And let's see what happens when I disconnect it and it does not continue to run. So, on, and as soon as I disconnect the battery, it stops. So, capacitor across the back end is not doing anything to help us. Now we're back to that original circuit. Uh, got a diode. Here's the band on the diode in case you can't see it. It's on this end. First we'll hook it up one way and see what happens. Get my hands out of the way of the camera. And I don't know if you can see it. There's a slight increase. Slight increase and when we disconnect the battery we'll see what happens. No. It immediately stops. stops. Okay, let's try the diode the other direction, just for thoroughness. And we got no change in speed at all, so my guess is it's wired in there the other way, uh, backwards. And disconnect and nothing. Disconnect and nothing. So, uh, so far diode and capacitor add no no return energy from the generator back to the to the uh, motor and only when I do this do we get that 3x speed increase but once again when you disconnect it, it doesn't last very long this is one that uh, it's a combination of the two things that people ask me to do the diode and the capacitor. Uh, nobody asked me to do this one specifically, but I thought it would be interesting to try. The uh, capacitor here is hooked to the generator to collect the energy coming out of the uh, generator, and then the diode, of course, feeding the power back to the, to the uh, motor. And uh, theoretically, this would be the ideal setup, so let's see what happens when we disconnect the battery. And one, two, three, and it stops pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, let's try the diode the other way just for completeness. Uh, 
and go and we see almost yeah it's it's operating at the slowest speed possible so let's see and disconnect and nothing yeah okay so that's it for this segment